Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be shedding light on how to significantly improve your house in order to improve your quality of life. So how can you bolster, enhance, augment, and ameliorate every facet of your house? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. There are ample house optimization measures that you can implement in order to be able to attain robust, vigorous, optimal house. It is incumbent. It is salient. It is pivotal. It is paramount. And it is of eminent importance that you remain steadfast on optimizing every facet of your house to not allow your organs to wane nor atrophy. Do everything in your purview to safeguard your house, your houses, your wealth, metaphorically speaking. If you are ailing, if you are in insufferable pain, then it will reduce your quality of life and cause it to precipitously plunge into the abyss, metaphorically speaking. So what measures should you take to optimize your house? Well, first and foremost, one measure associated with attaining optimal house entails embracing a longevity promoting heart healthy, brain healthy, kidney healthy, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, antioxidant rich, anti-inflammatory, nutrient dense, alkaline, raw fruitarian diet. Another measure associated with optimizing your house entails engaging in quality deep sleep for a prolonged period of time each and every night. You should prolong your sleeping sessions as much as possible. Sleep helps to alleviate chronic fatigue. Furthermore, when you are sleeping, your body is on the mend. So just be acutely aware of that. Allow that to marinate in the chasms of your mind. Render that indelible and allow that to solidify into the bowels of your mind. What is another measure that is conducive to attaining optimal health? Well, you should take heed of engaging in fasting. You should only fast if you have a healthy BMI well above 18.5 and if your vessel is optimally nourished and optimally hydrated. So what are the benefits of engaging in fasting? Well, when you engage in fasting, when your vessel is in a fasted state, it enters ketosis and autophagy. And the benefits extend beyond the ambit of simply outputting more stem cells and human growth hormones and decreasing inflammation markers and increasing insulin sensitivity and reducing LDL cholesterol levels and blood triglyceride levels and reducing blood pressure. So what are these additional benefits that I'm alluding to? Well, when you fast, it not only induces cellular repair, but it allows your body to eradicate more cancer cells, more senescent cells, more advanced glycation end products, more fungal infected cells, more bacterial infected cells, and of course more viral infected cells. It can be beneficent to fast anywhere from 16 to 48 hours. At this juncture, I typically eat two to three meals a week. If you, for instance, eat five to 10,000 calories every meal, even if you only eat three meals per week, then you're gonna be able to more than likely maintain your weight. You always wanna maintain a healthy BMI that is well above the 18.5 threshold. Having an unhealthy BMI can indeed be insalubrious and can be detrimental to your health and well-being can render you lethargic, torpid, debilitated, frazzled, vitiated, and impaired. So make sure that you are able to 
maintain optimal nutrient levels, as well as a healthy BMI. Also make sure that you are eminently hydrated at all times. Another measure that you should implement, which is conducive to optimizing your health, is taking vegan supplements every day in order to preempt the coming to nutrient deficiencies and in order to optimize your nutrient levels. You want to be able to attain optimal nutrient levels and maintain optimal nutrient levels. You never want to succumb to having subpar nutrient levels. So just bear that in mind. Allow that to seep into the chasms of your mind. You can instantiate an instance of how critical it is to take vegan supplements. Nutrient deficiencies can be calamitous to your overall health. So preclude, avert, preempt, and prevent succumbing to nutrient deficiencies by taking vegan supplements so that you could attain optimal nutrient levels and stave off succumbing to the brunt of nutrient deficiencies. You never want to have subpar nutrient levels nor nutrient deficiencies and you will not be able to intake the requisite amount of nutrients you have solely from produce. Produce is devoid of vitamin D3 and vitamin B12. And even if you eat large quantities of foods, you still may not attain an optimal quantity of certain nutrients. So just bear that in mind. Do not shirk on taking vegan supplements. Take vegan supplements on a daily basis to optimize your nutrient levels. All 78 organs in your vessel need nutrients to thrive, prosper, and flourish. If you do not assimilate nutrients, then the outcome can be direful, to say the least. Other activities associated with improving your health until minimizing your exposure to carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, neurotoxins, irritants, and pathogens. You want to minimize your exposure to secondhand smoke, hazardous household cleaning products, and anything that can induce respiratory distress. You do not ever want your body to be inflamed. Your house is sacrosanct. It is indispensable. It is invaluable and it is precious. Other activities that are associated with bolstering your house until engaging in Heart healthy exercises on a daily basis, such as taking a brisk walk, as well as partaking in stress alleviating activities on a daily basis. Stress can adversely impinge on every facet of your house. Nothing salubrious can ever ensue from being chronically stressed out. Distress unravel your DNA. Dist I meant to say distress ravage your DNA. Does it unravel your chromosomes? Does it truncate your telomeres? Does it undermine your well-being? Unfortunately so. Your body cannot cope with incessantly being besieged by acute stressors. So just do everything in your purview to not allow chronic stress to remain unmitigated. Do everything in your purview to alleviate chronic stress. Another activity that can help to enhance your health entails engaging in healthy social circles. If you have healthy relationships with other people, 
then that can be conducive to boosting your mood. And rendering you less apt to wallow in a state of misery and despair, which can perniciously undermine your health. So, ostensibly engaging in healthy social circles can be conducive to improving your health. Hopefully, it could allow you to elicit a a higher positive to negative thought ratio and allow you to improve your quality of life. So, I hope that you found this video to be insightful by improving your health, by attaining robust, vigorous, optimal health, by... Optimizing your well-being, it can redound to your benefit and significantly improve your quality of life. If you're more jovial, if you're all the more elated, buoyant, gleeful, jubilant, and are all the more vigorous, energetic, optimistic, then it can redound to your benefit. So do everything in your purview to optimize your house and optimize your well-being, especially since it can significantly improve your quality of life to an unprecedented extent. I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.